Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today we have a big sailboat, sail, sail ship. Boat is a smaller. This is a ship from Old King, model number 13192. The Imperial Star Destroyer. Yes, it's really. It's really called Imperial Star Destroyer. Yes. If you are stupid like I am and you've seen only Imperial Star Destroyer, Look nothing for the pictures, only the set name. I bought it. I opened it and I got a ship. No joke, but perhaps this happened to some poor, pe poor guy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here we have it. Both sides are looking the same. Okay, now you see some pictures of the assembly so you know what's inside and how the assembly process is done. Uh, you see pictures from 1 to 9 and 10 and 11 are only the masts and uh, sails and ropes and, and so on. So uh, no pictures of this because it's one assembly and then it's finished. Okay, have fun with the pictures and I tell you all the other interesting things about the set after the pictures. So oh, you've seen the pictures of the set, now I can go through. Okay, I put this a little bit to the side. So we get instructions, exactly 200 pages, no problem at all. It's fully colored and the new pieces have a red outline, no problem, no mistakes, nothing. Perfect instructions. Not more than you need. No waste of paper and trees, not bigger than necessary, perfect, really perfect. Additional sails in pros, if you like them. The rope, I know it's no rope, but uh, I don't know the term at the moment. I have no time to think about it because I have to talk, so I call it rope, but here it's nicely packaged. 
no problem at all. And some stickers. And here is, it's called on the sticker Imperial Frigid, Frigid, Frigid. But you can see it here, it's called Imperial Star Destroyer. <laughs> the ISD, the new ISD, out of mid-age Star Wars, fantasy Star Wars, mid-age Star Wars, I don't know. Okay, the pieces. You've seen in the pictures, the new pieces, uh, I had most of them already in a fun hole set and Gobrix is the supplier for Mold King and Fun Hole. So uh, yeah, now they are in the Mold King sets too. You've seen this, you put the pieces together out of one or two or three pieces. You put a normal piece together like a two by two slope. You put a cross from the back to, into it or the one by two brick with studs on side. It's only two third. You put a normal one by two underneath, then you have the brick. Um, that's because Lego is really strong with his uh, design copyright on the bricks um, and they have it only for a few years for the, then they are common and all the companies can use them but there are still some bricks they have the copyright and uh, Mold King had always trouble with the sellers because the seller said hey our um, the sets stuck in custom because Lego told the customs not let the set through there are pieces inside the sets uh, that are not all right and so they decided hey we get rid of the old uh, uh, molds for the not okay pieces and make molds for new pieces and so we have no problem and the sellers have no problem okay the rest of the pieces are normal go bricks quality no problem at all all is the same orange all is the same black the same blue great the assembly yes we built the base then we are starting here at the bow to the stern and it's always diagonal. It's finished here and here it's, it's not finished and then as you've seen in the pictures we're moving forward. So it, it's a fun and well made build. Six hours for the boat and two hours for the masts and the sails and the tuckerlage, the row and, and everything. Okay, um, it's a nice assembly. We have good building techniques, solid building techniques. We have some nice angles here, how they made the angle. Not too many gaps, so that's always, if you have angles, you mostly get gaps. We have some small gaps here, but it's all overall okay, you don't see it. They made here a good job at the stern overall. And the rest, it's a big sailboat, a ship. If you have ever built one of the Mold Kings or from the Lego ones, the Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that, it's not like Kobe where you build the whole thing out of new slopes to get really cool shapes and not this form piece um, part. But it's okay, it's okay. It's really a smooth, entertaining build. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's solid. It's solid. It's really, there's nothing that falls apart. It's, it's solid. So I like the overall coloring of the set. I like three things not about the set. And I want to tell you about it. Um, first is this baby blue. I would buy new pieces for five bucks in dark red and not in orange, because then it's too much orange. Dark red is okay, because we have dark red here and a little bit looking like dark red here, the, the form pieces. So dark red, I would say, here with the dark blue and the black would look okay, absolutely. The next thing is I would buy new fabric for the sails, because this is a really cheap plastic synthetic harsh It's, it's, yeah, it's not okay. It's looking good. It's a clean white and, and, and cool black stripes, but it's, it's not okay, I believe. I would buy other fabric and would cut out new sails. And I would make them a little bit 
wider. These six here. The reason when you make them a little bit wider to match here the fully width of this here and make holes there and fix it with a whole half technique pin so you have this here really straight you can get all six of the sails straight with a heavy fabric they are really much better next thing i would leave or i would not use these two because they are not looking cool and how they connect it is not okay and i would leave these two yes they are not they are meant to be on the same yeah but after all you have to cut uh, put on the rope make a knot push it then after a while it's getting wider the rope and so everything is has not enough pressure and uh, yeah you need more time for this than i had or i wanted to use for this set because i'm selling it and new owner can make it perfect so i would leave these two away these two away i would leave these two ropes here away because the weight of this here you see this when i push this into a right angle if you make this really nice right angle and everything, this here with time is pushing and pulling this here forward. Yeah? Because it's only, okay, there it's connected to part of the ship and or to the mast and the mast is better connected to the ship than this here. And uh, yeah, this here wins. So you have connect this mast here with the ship if you want to use this make this here longer put it around here and then connect it somewhere here and then make the masts in the right angle when all the pressure is made you know what i mean these are three things i would change buy here new things buy new sails and i would leave this away or would use other techniques but this is the technique that it shows you in the instructions and i think it looks okay and it's not so hard to get this here even um, but overall i think without this pulling pressure pushing pressure on, on on the set and the sails and the masts without these and these four sails overall it would look better in my opinion and these here these are going through to here and they are necessary if you make the sails a little bit wider then you don't need this here to get the sails wide and because you don't get them really wide and the fabric has ah, you know what i mean you see what it is with better sails it looks much better i would still use this here and they were really hard pushed but like i said after one day the rope is getting a little bit longer so make your knots make everything wait a day and then put again some pressure on the whole thing put it into right angle and then it's okay but you need another day because it's a little bit moving with the time okay not not much more to tell you these are the things i would change but the overall the set and the look of the set i really like I really like and out of the box it still looks not bad change just the baby blue you can live with the sails yeah? if you take your time and use the iron or, or you iron them and get better usage of the ropes and so on and be better working with the pressure and pulling and everything you get this all in a good angle just out of the box but with 10 15 bucks for fabric and 10 new pieces here i believe it looks much better okay not much more to say write me in the comments what do you think about this and uh, i haven't for uh, uh, find any information that this is a stolen mock so perhaps this is a molking self-development okay tell me your opinion about the set are you with me 
leave the ropes away, put better sails on it and you see another color or do you think this is already looking crap or this is looking gorgeous, I hate orange, write me in the comments. Have a good time. Bye bye.